Today we are going to talk about TACK, T-A-C-K-K dot com. It is a useful tool, it's a web tool that you can use to create e-portfolios, presentations, flyers, that kind of thing. Being that it's a web tool, it is nice because if you want to go in and make any changes or work on your project, you can do it on any device that has internet access. So I'm going to stop this introduction video. Uh, with TAC, you will need to go ahead and register for an account. That way you can save your projects and go back in and get to them later. You can share them with others, especially if you're using it for an e-portfolio, you will want access for a long time. Um, clicking on this upper left-hand corner up here shows you, goes into your account and shows you the different TACs that you've created. And here you can choose to edit them, share them, get to the settings or delete them if you know you no longer need that project. But what we going to want to do is create a new one. So we click this blue button. It shows these various uh, templates that you can choose from. Uh, when you choose one of these templates, most of them have something already placed to give you an idea of where you can have your title, your text, and your pictures. But these are all changeable, so you don't have to keep any of this the way that they have it. It's just an idea. So. If we want to change the headline, we just click on it. With that text, you can come over here, collect fonts, scroll down, and you've got several fonts that you can choose from. Um, back here, you can go back to palette, and you can change your color palette if you like. And then here where it says photos, if we click on this, it'll allow us to add photos. You can add photos either uploading them from your computer, from Instagram, or if you know the URL for a particular photograph, you can use that. I'm actually going to use their search tool that they have. And it will start showing me some options. You can choose several at a time. Let me scroll through here, pick up a few, pick up one more. Once you've picked up the pictures for this particular section, you can add pictures. You can add more pictures later throughout your presentation, but just for this particular part of the presentation, I'll need to click that button that says Done. Once you do that, it will choose one. It will choose one to make larger, but you can scroll through the images using these arrows that they have on the left and on the right. Another option you have for your background is to add a photograph. So we'll click Options over here photo background. You can upload it from your computer or you can import a photo from the web. To do that, if you'd like to use one of the photos you already have, you can right click on it, copy the image URL, come back over here and paste. Click import and it will fill up that back section. If you want to mute it a little bit, you can choose this photo blur. It will soften it up a little bit. Um, with all these geometry images that I'm using, I kind of think that it may be better to do a solid background. So on this photo background, I'm going to delete it and come back to this solid color that I have. So we scroll down, you can see that it has a place for text. In the settings, which is this little toolbar, you can change the alignment. You can change the font. These arrows here, these up and down arrows, I can move this particular section I'm working with. So I can move that type up, I can move the type back down, come down here, and this is where you can add different elements. So you can add text, you can add a headline, pictures, video, audio, a button. So a button is a link, so you can have it linked to any website. So we've got this created. I wanted to give them a link to Geometry in Real Life. I'm going to copy that link, come back to my Geometry Notebook. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to click on this button because I want to change the name. It'll say Customize Your Button Label if you don't change it. So I'll do that. We'll click Apply. So now you've got your photos, your text, and a button. So the button is a link, and it could be a link to a link to a website with more content or articles that can be read. It could be a link to a video or other things like that. If we want to 
add video. You can paste the URL, so I do have a video I want to place in there. It's in. Come back. Okay, so you wait for just a second, and then when the embed button turns blue, you can click it, and it will go ahead and embed that video for you. So, again, if I want to change the order of things, I can put that video above my button. If I want to move the button, there we go, up underneath the photographs, I can. So this is just a brief little introduction to the tools and some of the things that you can put in the tack that you create. Um, a few notes over here and under the options button, public or private. Public means that anyone can stumble across your tack from the web, looking on the web. Private means you can assign a password if you like and only that the people you share the link with and the password with will be able to take a look at what you've done. One more little note, whenever you import pictures using their search engine, it will automatically give credit down here at the bottom of the image. And I did forget, I want to show you one more thing. But this you have to be careful. So I'm going to click Giphy instead of 500. Type in my geometry and search again. So this is going to give you animated GIFs. But be careful not to use a ton of these. That's a lot of motion and a lot of distraction on the eye. So make sure that you use those sparingly. So I'll click Done when I've got that the way I want it. Uh, so that's one last thing that you can add I wanted to show you. Once you're done and you've decided public or private, and your teacher may have preferences on that, uh, you can publish your TAC. And publishing it, you can sign in with Facebook or invite your friends with email if you like. This is all you'll need to run it through your teacher first. There is Google Plus and Edmodo, which may be ways that you could share these with instructors, or you can just email them the link. Right here, it gives you a quick link. So if you click Copy, it'll let you know up here that it is copied. And you can just paste that directly into an email or a Google form or whichever way that your teacher would like you to turn it in. So that's a brief introduction to TAC. It's a great tool. It looks clean, very professional. Have a great day. Thanks.